What's up, y'all? It's Michael B. Fishing, and yes, no, um, I may be in a vehicle with my butt buck on, but I am not driving. I'm being safe. So, real quick, I wanted to just briefly mention something. I'm still wearing my Christmas time shirt. Oh, yeah. But, okay, so, real talk, serious. All, I'm sure as you've either heard, as sure as some of you have probably heard, if not all of you have probably heard about it, but there were some people who were protesting yesterday and it got violent, or two days ago, and it got violent. It got extremely, extremely violent. It was two days ago, yes, it was Wednesday. That, so much so that they stormed the Capitol building. Now, there are some people who have express their concern like they were justified in doing so because they were trying to ask questions and nobody was answering them and they reached a point there they just said forget it that's true however john cooper of cooper stuff and also the lead singer of skillet put out a little thing on his podcast channel today called cooper stuff it's awesome y'all should go check it out it's called cooper stuff fantastic but he was like god is a god of law and order so I agree with him and like it's it's very sinful in fact the devil was probably getting a kick out of everything that was going on on Wednesday and I'm not speaking out and saying that there aren't questions that need to be asked because quite frankly there are however I'm speaking out against the methodology in which it was done violence only breeds more violence that's everything because we're all sinful we are all sinful people this is not political this is, video is not political do not say it is because i know some of you are going to watch it in fact i might even have like two views on the video but still christ came for all of us whether we are left middle right front backwards whatever he came and died for all of us so those of us who are professing christians need to to act like that. We can't expect a lost person to act saved because they just can't. Scripture says that, but we all, we, especially the saved people, the ones who follow Jesus, need to treat every single person with dignity and respect, even if we disagree with him, because we do not, we can not have a witness with these people if we're being as angry and violent as they are. We cannot love those people if we're hating them for what they do now jesus says himself that they will hate you because they hated me first but that is in terms of christian persecution not political persecution like the weirdest thing i i think i've ever seen was when they were playing america the beautiful while storming the the capital the governing body of america like it, it's crazy Anyway, all that to say, we got to love people. We have to be peacemakers. Ma Jesus says in Matthew 5, blessed are those, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be considered sons of God. We have to be peacemakers because Jesus was a peacemaker. Sure, he flipped a table when it was necessary. But we must be peacemakers. We must love people. Not whatever the other day was or those marches back over the summer for the BLM stuff. We have to love people because that, and I'm not saying agree with people. I'm saying love people and respect them for the human beings that they are made in the image of God. Anyway, so this little spiel is over. I've been talking for about four minutes. I'm waiting on my wife to get out of work. So I hope y'all have a fantastic day. And sorry, she scared me. Anyway, this is Michael B. Fishing. See y'all later.